Hi, I'm Rick Hansen, talking about protecting your brain, the 11th practice in my book, Just One Thing. Uh, the brain, obviously, is the most important organ in the body, but it's also one of the most vulnerable organs in the body. So it's great to know that there are a variety of things you can do in everyday life to help protect it. I'll just mention a couple right here. One is to really avoid or minimize alcohol. Uh, I've drunk alcohol, I've enjoyed it, I know that feeling, but guess what? The way alcohol works is by depriving brain cells of oxygen. The buzz is the feeling of neurons drowning. So keep it to a limit, and if you can't drink moderately, that means you can't drink at all. The second thing is to avoid inflammation. It's interesting that the nervous system and the immune system are very closely interconnected. And when we have any kind of a, an immune system reaction, whether it's to a cold or to an allergy, it sends little chemical messengers called cytokines throughout the body. They create inflammation. Those inflammatory effects get into the brain and can be a major problem, including being a risk factor for depression. So watch out for colds and flus, do what you can, and be careful about the food you eat. Uh, for example, it's interesting to reflect that it was only about 10,000 years ago, really recently, that things like uh, grains and dairy products were introduced to the human diet. So if you have a sense you get a funny feeling from something you eat, be careful. Don't eat it for a couple weeks and see if that helps you. So one way or another, may you protect your brain.